So we are given a symmetric charge distribution in space, which is of the function of R. That's why it's symmetric. And we need to find the electric field at any distance R. So because it's symmetric, we are going to use Gauss law. So electric field into surface area is equal to integral dq by epsilon. Integral dq is rho dv. Rho is given. dv is 4 pi r square dr. And by integrating, we get our answer. Now in second part, we need to find the value of field when alpha r cube is much less than 1 or much greater than 1. So for much less than 1, or we are going to use this expansion of e raised to the power x. So when it's e raised to the power minus x, this term, this expansion becomes this. And when x is small, we neglect the higher orders. And e raised to the power minus x, we can approximate to 1 minus x. So we have a term of e raised to the power minus x here. So that we are going to simplify as 1 minus x because that term is very small. So this whole thing, 1 minus e raised to the power minus alpha r cube becomes 1 minus 1 minus alpha r cube, which is alpha r, alpha r cube. So we put it in our original field equation. So this will be your answer. So we see that when r is very small, so very near to the origin, the field is proportional to r. Now when alpha r cube is much greater than 1, then this term, because the addition and subtractions, we can neglect the small terms. So we neglect this term, this becomes approximate to 1, around, and our answer is rho naught by 3 epsilon alpha r square. So just you don't, so that you don't get confused, when alpha r cube is much greater, this term is very small, because this will go in denominator. So these are our answers, and if you see, so when r is very small, it's proportional to r, and when r is far away, then it's inversely proportional to r square. If you remember, this is a similar kind of charge distribution of a solid sphere, where inside the sphere, the field is proportional to r, and outside the sphere, it's proportional, inversely proportional to r square. So I'm not saying anything that this is a, <laughs> uh, but just it's an observation that these fields are similar to that of a sphere.